All right, inshallah, uh, this session, uh, I will show you how to put your courses on in a way that uh, people will be able to access it directly on Sega. There are different ways of um, putting courses on Sega. Different ways. Okay. So, and there's a particular one that you be able to upload the courses, meaning that when some, somebody pays you through Sega, the person will be able to access the uh, the courses, the course or the recording of a course directly. And uh, there's another option that let's say the person pays through uh, transfer. The person pays through transfer directly into your account without following any uh, channel Sega has created, you will be able to add the course to the course on Sega and they will be able to access it. So, but let's quickly walk through the Sega interface and uh, you see okay. what I'm talking about. Now, this is, um, okay. you see, add a product and the products. So the products you are adding now, uh, the usual thing people do is to add a digital product. If you're adding a digital product, what you are doing is you are wasting the product on Sega. So Sega is only going to give you the opportunity to make use of Sega uh, or, or to use Sega as a uh, a landing page or a sales page for your data products. Okay. It's Sega just as a sales page for your data products. Let me show you my Sega store so you see uh, what I'm talking about. This, many of these um, products you are seeing here, I only listed them as a data product. So this one now, HDP, yes, and click on it. It's a data product. Anybody that pays for HDP from here, aha. So I get the notification. Then from there, I can now say, okay, well, maybe I'm adding them to a Telegram group or I'm adding them to a WhatsApp group. So it is, I only use Sega to list this data product, this course. So if you choose digital products, yeah, that is what you'll be able to do. You're only going to be able to use the product to describe the product, nothing more than that. So, but when you come here, there's another option here, cost hosted on Sega. You can see that it's only pro user that have this asset. Cost hosted on Sega. Uh -huh. When you choose cost hosted on Sega, you'll be able to describe your product. That product you are using Sega as a sales page uh, or description page for your product. At the same time, once they pay for it, they'll be able to access the product directly on Sega. So, I guess, so let's assume uh, uh, we have the product. Let's say the product is, uh, I don't know which image is this. Let's say the product is, let me see what this image is. Okay, let's say this is the, uh, I'm using this image as the, probably the, the flyer or whatever the image represents. Let's say this is the image that represents the course. I'm choosing that. Let me give this course a, a title, suggesting things for me, yeah? So let's say how to, let's say this course is how to host your courses on Sega. Okay, good. So 
from my own store, you can see I have three different um, um, three different currency here I'm using. I set it. I did the setting uh, uh, in the. I did the setting here. Yeah? Uh, you can choose which which and primary currencies you're going to be working with. So when you come here, you'll be able to do that. So you may not have it because you didn't set it that way. For most people, it is just uh, Naira or whatever currency they are using in their country. So I have chosen Naira as the primary currency, USD, and the GHS. So I can define what the price would be in, um, in in Naira. So I can say 10,000 in, um, in dollar. I can say uh, $20 in, the, in this. Maybe, uh, let's say, maybe 250 GHS. So allow users pay what they want. Yes, you can see. Sega is very, very fast applied. Still giving you option that, oh, do you want to run an offer that allows people pay what they want? If this is what you're going to be choosing, let's say you have an offer that allows people pay what they want. Whatever you are setting, whatever price you are setting here will be the lowest price they can pay. You know, you can run an offer and say, oh, people pay what you want, but the minimum amount you're going to be paying is uh, maybe 1000 the minimum amount will be five thousand, depending on what the uh, what you decide for yourself. There's another option here, so let me untick this since that is not the uh, that's not what we need here. Now this option again shows show striked out original price. Yes. So what is the original price of this course? This is the actual price. This one you see there, ten thousand twenty dollars to fifty GHS is the actual price. That is the cost price. Anybody paying for this cost, this is the amount they will be paying to Sega. However, what is the original price? You may you may say that oh maybe the original price is thirty thousand uh, naira. Maybe. Or this one it is sixteen dollars or whatever. Maybe I'm just using it uh, using the figures randomly that way. Maybe this one is four fifty GHS. So this is this space you can see insert your insert your text here. This space this space is where you'll be able to describe your your product. Here I recommend that you've already written a an irresistible well presentable copy as your argument to sell the the products so you just come here copy it here do you get so you copy it here then you begin to you begin to format it so look at this one Can you undo which amount of money? This and that. So you write your copies. The only thing I'm going to describe to you here is that uh, there are different things. There are different formatting styles here. Let's say how how to post your courses. Okay. So. You may want it to be big. Then you come to heading and choose heading one. You may want to give it color. Choose, look at this A that I'm pointing at. You can choose any color you want. You, want. you may want to give it a background color. You, you may want to do so. So, let me see. I've given it background color. You may highlight it again and choose bold. Yeah, yeah, if you are doing it on iPhone, uh, it will be you'll be able to see these formatting options. Uh, and it, the moment you highlight your text like this, you see an option telling you to format it. So you'll be able to choose bold, iterate, 
X underline or whatsoever. So when you come down here, this option is image that you, you'll be able to import image here. So maybe testimonies, maybe whatever. You know, you already know how to structure uh, your copy. So do whatever you want to do here. Just make sure that it is a, a well presented argument that, it, that is sufficient enough to convince somebody to pay. So uh, you have the option to change the alignment from center to from left alignment to center to, to right alignment to justify. So also you can add a link. Any link you add here, let's say I'm adding a link. Let's say I need to add a link to this page. So if I do like this, what's um just say Audi. So by the time I save this thing, the link will not be clickable. The link will not be clickable. So instead of um, that, what you will do is once you've typed the link, copy it, then you come here, come to this, uh, no, this one. So this is the symbol that represents link. Once you type, once you click on it, to put that link into this space. So is this what you want? Is this the text you, you want people to see? This is the link. But is this what you want people to see? If that is what you want people to see, just click save. You'll be able to see, you can see now, it has underlined it. And giving it a kind of formatting that shows that it's clickable. So if this is not what I want people to see, I'll come here, I will say, let's say, click, click here. So, but, uh, sorry. This is what I will do. If this is not what I want people to say, to see, I will say click, click here. So then I will come back and choose this icon, then I will paste the link here. So once I paste the link, click here now, and you see it has been formatted as a link. So once people click these steps, you take them to wherever you want to take them to. So this is just for if you need to add a link. All, everything I'm explaining here, you will still need them in the inside part of Sega where you upload your course. You know, you may upload your course on a particular course video. After watching the video, you may want to send them to a link, maybe a link to buy another course, maybe a link to see something, a resource you've prepared for them. So that is why the, the general formatting, the, the formatting styles you are seeing here now is the general formatting across all uh, sections on Sega. So maybe let's say you are done already. Let's say you are done already. If you want to, there's a particular setting here too. Maybe you want to list something as ABC. Me, me, you. Us. So you want to list them as a um, one, two, three. So you come here, one, two, three. Can you see? That's listed them. Or you want to bullet it. Okay. You can choose this. So that's that, that actually. So let's move forward. So once you are done, you choose the category of your offer because <laughs> This one is very, very important. You may want to list your product as an affiliate product, whereby people discover your product, they help you sell it, and then they make money, they get their own commission, you get your own money straight into your account. So, so you should um, choose what category it is so that affiliate marketers can find it easy to discover. So what, what's your category? Is it marketing and sales? Is it content media? This software tech, uh, professional, whatever. So let's assume it is a um, professional. 
the categories professional then you come to subcategory maybe professional development so product variation this product has multiple variant options like different scale this one is good for people who sell um, physical products where you can have uh, variation in color packaging sizes and all that so you don't need it as a digital product vendor as much as i know then uh, give this one to cost hosted and seller if you change it you will not be able to do what we want to do so store category i think is here for now don't choose automatically redirect the buyer's one as soon as you are after purchase they won't be able to access the cost if you choose this then come to upsells is there something you want to upsell to them after this course you may decide to choose that one manage product courses so manage product upsells this one you can shake around yourself later and uh, then advanced option come to advanced option i like to change the cta the call to action if you look at the page where we used to sell um the i ticket masters and program premium the call to action there is go premium yes, if you don't sure. it, what you will see is buy now buy now is not a good uh, not a good time it's not a good call to action uh, in most cases people feel like men you want to collect my money but when we tell you that go premium you feel men oh this is exclusive and i'm going premium so very very exclusive uh, gives a sense of honor a sense of pride it's saying that you are doing something that some people may not be able to afford so you are rich you are better so that's why i like changing call to action mm -hmm. so you will see it go premium so where is it so you too you should um find something find a time or whatever a call to action that resonates with what you're doing. Can you see? Go premium. If I didn't change it, what you see here is um, buy now. So it's too. Uh, that's it's a old CTA method. So you may say uh, whatever. Any anyway. So you already know that you can you can change this. So I this product from my store home page. Is to choose this option if I don't want people to discover a product publicly. We say private something that you, you should not discover. So maybe a product that is only available to people in a in a membership. So you know, they shouldn't discover it, so they don't pay for what they are not supposed to pay for. So you will hide it. You choose hide it. So require delivery shipping or check and check out. This is for those who sell physical products. So once you are done with that, choose save and set up curriculum. Save and set up curriculum. So now this is where the work is. So you have set up the sales page, but now you need to set up the curriculum page, the course page. So let me show you something on my own page. Let me use that one to explain. So maybe with that, it will be easier for you to get. Let's say all products. What's our status monetization? So look at it and let's look at this WhatsApp status monetization course. Uh, I will come here, 
to these three dots, you will see some more by two. How to manage curriculum. Manage curriculum. Can you see? This is the back end of awesome course. And they are buying and enjoying. They don't know the work I did behind. So once this is what you will see. Can you see? Your, this one is empty now. Not anything that <laughs> but look at this. So it's the same thing you are saying. This option is to preview what you've done. Once you've put some things in it, you can preview it and see how it looks like before you start adding your your student to it. You can do in three parts. People left one other than one comment for me, man. So for the WhatsApp status in the presidential course. Uh -huh. So Let's leave preview for now. This is the way I structure my own. Because when you open the page, you will see first section. On that first section, it's telling you that you can add lecture one, lecture two. You can add another one by clicking add, yet add new lecture. You can add another one. Once you are done, you can click on create a new session. Create new session. So, so this one may be. So, I don't use the word session actually. So, people don't get confused. I use module one, module two. So, all these lectures I have on module one, I start listing them one before the other. So, usually my module one is introduction. It's a module one introduction to what's up status and course. And then this sec this the this session under it is understanding the power of what's up status for monetization course secrets. So here we can say module one, module one. So what is the title of module one? It should be something so capturing because. If you make the course public on your seller page, people will see it. And whatever name, whatever titles, whatever name you are using here is going to attract them to say, oh, let me buy it. So, module one, give it a name. The reaction one under module one. You can use different style. You can let them know it is reaction one. Or introduction. That's it in African. Introduction. Give it a title to two. Comparing title. Now this introduction. Now you will now come to management. Manage lecture content. Manage. You can say empty. Look at my own lecture one. Manage lecture content. My own is not empty. Managing short content. So I mean, do it in this. There's an empty resource here. Uh -huh. So look at it. Managing actual content. I have a YouTube video they will access. There are different ways to give them your actual content. You can upload it directly on seller. Why I don't choose that? Why I don't choose upload directly on seller is that most of my lectures are they are very long, one hour, two hours. So and the size of those lectures may be 500 megabytes, uh, 200 megabytes, 100 megabytes. It's not easy uploading those things on seller for me. So what I do is I upload them on YouTube. I upload them on YouTube. This is the HTML, one of the HTML yes. sessions. I upload them on, 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 on YouTube, but it's not public material. 
they can't discover yeah, it. Yeah. Uh, it's private. So then I come here. Once I have uploaded the consider, I make it an unlisted, unlisted um, video. So mm -hmm. I come here, I copy the link. So once I've copied the link, I will now come here. I'll paste the link in my YouTube. Okay. Yeah. So, so that it can give me a link. The link I copy will not work on it. will not work on it. The link I copied will not work on Sega. This is the link I copy. Let me let me show you. It's this one will not work on Sega. This YouTube link will not work on Sega. So I need to process it. Okay. So until be sure that the new you are the new link as V. Good good morning, our man. So the new link should have V equals to. If the new link doesn't have V equals to, it won't work. Sometimes if you are on. The link from from Sega and uh, from my YouTube the link, and you got that. So that link doesn't even have doesn't have wash. Look at look at this URL. Okay. Watch. Is it tiny? Okay, don't worry. I can see. I can see. You can see it. So yeah, I'm not confused. Yeah, you're talking about the V something. So the first link that I copied doesn't have watch. Question mark V equals to. So you need to put it, you need to open the link, maybe on your Chrome or your Firefox or whatever. So once you open the link, it will give you another link entirely. Check the URL area. No, I guess. You can see the link has changed. You not the one you now have now as wash question mark question. So that is the link that will work on Sega. So you just copy yeah. it. If you are on your if you are doing it on phone, it may give you wash question mark s equals to it will not work. Any way for people to access your YouTube link, maybe from a random page, maybe anywhere. It has to be V equals to. That is the link that work. So I have copied it now. Then I will now go back here and say add cost resource YouTube. I've chosen YouTube. Then I'll paste the link here. You will now verify if the link is valid. If you say you are valid. That's from YouTube. Do you get? So, yes, sir. If we are using Vimeo, Vimeo, Vimeo is a platform also that allows you to upload your video. I don't use it. So, but if you are using it, you'll be able to use your own URL too, or you are using you. Another, another link can appear here. Uh, I think you can also copy a link to a video you uploaded on. Google Drive. You can copy it and paste it there. But there's a, another reason why I don't use that. It's not to my advantage. If I put a YouTube video link here and people watch it, it will count for me on YouTube that people are watching my video. So my watch hour on, on YouTube will be increasing at the same time. That is why I prefer using YouTube, YouTube link. So I upload on YouTube, copy the link and paste it there. Do you get? So if I need to describe the reaction, I've chosen verify. So I will just come here, tell them whatever I need to tell them about this particular reaction. You know, you may need to tell them. It's good to always give clear instructions. Tell them, that, oh, maybe after listening to this um, session, so so time, don't listen to it in the in the in the afternoon or in the morning, listen to it at night. Once you are done, look at this. There may be an image you are using. 
you have an image you use during your class or another external uh, or additional resources, you can upload it here. So the people coming to consume your session on Sega, they have full access to whatever happened during the live session. Uh, so you can then you can upgrade different formatting styles. If you want them to leave comments, to you can try to tell them straight from here that oh, once you are done, give a review and do this, do that. Do that. So whether you put something here or you did not put something here, always choose save. If you don't choose save, the link you place here, you will not meet it there. So I've chosen save, then I'll come to go back to curriculum. Go back to curriculum. So you do that too for lecture. For let's say there, there should be something here if you want it there. If not, for me, usually my, my first module is usually introduction and nothing more. Maybe there's something actually, maybe there's a bonus lecture, I may mean, put it there. So, but for now, there's nothing. So I'll delete this section. So, this one, I may now come here and say, Module, module two. Then I give it the, the right title in front of it. So module two. For the session on it, I can just write the title of the session straight, and I can help them number it by just saying lecture, lecture one. Then I put the title in front of it. I go back again and do the same. Manage lecture content, add course resource. If the video is not large too much, you can choose upload. So can you see? You can upload MP4, that is video, audio, PDF, CSV, SS, SLX, doc. PowerPoint zip. So let's say there's something you want to upload now. Then you choose this. So let's say you want to upload this document. You choose it. So once you're choosing it, let's do it. I don't need it, but let me just let me just use it as an example. Can you see? It has to show green. If you are not seeing this green dot, the upload has not complete. Okay, so. so then you can upload two, three things or more at the same time. But look at it, the range is 30 megabytes to 150 megabytes per video. That being said, you can still upload videos as large as 750 megabytes. So you may decide that you want to upload videos directly. Now, one thing I do also here is that, uh, so once you've chosen OK, what you upload, you, it will now appear here immediately. You will still choose Add Cost Resource. You will now choose Manage File. Uh, then, you will now come here. You can see that I uploaded some things too. So you come here. The, the, the one you uploaded last will be at the bottom, which is this. Do you want people to be able to download it? You choose this. If not, don't choose it. So are you adding something here? Yes, no, no problem. Just choose save. So once you've done that, go back again. Go back again. So you do that for the next lecture too. If there if there's more lecture under module two, no problem. Do that. In fact, under one section or lecture, you know that there are so many course resources you can add 
have added one already. You can still come here and say add cost resource, add cost resource. It depends on how you want to structure your reaction. Do you get that? But for me, instead of saying add more, add more, add more, I come back here and add it as another reaction. So that people can see everything here themselves. You know, some people they can ask questions, they can say that where is my armpit? Where is my mouth? You know, so I don't want questions like that. So I help them put list everything here. Resource one, reaction one, or material one, material two, material three, material four. So once you are done, you can preview now. You can preview. So the first session is what we always show what we always show so and that is what is showing now so how to host your courses on Sega that's the, that's the course so every other thing we show here if they are on mobile they will have to look at the right answer there it is and choose course curriculum to see the remaining things so and you need to guide them on it actually. If not, people can be very provoking sometimes. So once you have okay. done that, so just um, say choose. So if if once you've done everything like that, it's okay, no problem. Just go back to edit pro edit course, and then so you can come to option and say publish products, publish product. do you get that? So you've published it, people can discover it, and it's already as a link. Now that you've published it, you can change the link too. You can change the link, customize, you can see another option as shown here, customize link. So just choose this and say, and give it a name. Do you get that? HDP or something. So I'm not going to show that one yet. You can add the reviews you've got from the course. Upload them as much as they are here. Or you, you can also put them here. You can also put them on the course. Oh, sorry. the course description here. So you put them here. You can add video to this course description page. This this one is video. You can put the URL, you can upload it there. So if you are putting the URL, it should be YouTube YouTube link like the one I mentioned before. So it has to have V equals to, so it will show the video directly that this. <laughs> so advanced option. You know, there are many other things, but for now, that is what you need. So once you've done that, now remember to come here and say update products. <laughs> so what if you want to add your students, what if you want to add your students? Uh, you will be able to do that. Let's, let me end this one now so that uh, the video will not be too long. So inshallah, in the next um, session, not, we're not going to leave here before we do that. So but let me end this um, recording for now. So this one doesn't um, seem too long. So I'll show you how to add students. Anybody who pay for this course directly will be able to access it directly. Sarah so will send the cost link, the receipt of the, the payment receipt directly to their email. And uh, in the mail, the link to access the course will be there. Now, what if somebody pays manually and you want to add them? That is what we want to do now. Okay. So but make sure you stick around. Let's, let's quickly uh, conclude on this. And inshallah, uh, the time will be worth it.